This is brace wood for the if I can get it in the camera for the bracing of the top and the back. Let's back out. For the bracing of the top and the back. And the wood is oriented in a particular way. If you look, you can see that the grain lines run straight up and down this piece of wood. And what that does is when this piece of wood lays in this orientation, it makes it the stiffest that it possibly can be and so I need to cut braces out of this stock and what I'm going to do you see I have it I have it marked my braces are different thicknesses depending on what they are the first braces I'm going to cut out of this are uh, the X braces the main X braces and they are going to be 5 sixteenths wide. I would normally set up a table saw and cut these exactly and not fool with it any further. You can split them along the grain line, stuff like that, but that's a lot of waste sometimes. And uh, it doesn't matter. That's going to be perfectly quarter sawn whether I cut it that way or split it uh, with uh, some type of blade doesn't make any difference so what I'm going to do since I have to cut this by hand because it is like 15 degrees outside and the wind chill is below zero then I'm going to mark 5 sixteenths and cut on the outside of this line and then I'll clean the edge up and mark 5 sixteenths again to get my second X brace that's the only way I know to do it so depending on the limitations of my shop you might be able to see this and you might not I have a very small shop and it's very tight quarters and this is very old brace wood that I picked up years ago when I had to do a replacement on a a guitar top that had burnt the guitar had basically been caught in a fire and a friend of mine asked me to restore it for him and this is also a part of this older brace wood and this is newer stock but it's I've had it about a year and it's uh, well seasoned and ready to go so got a mark so hopefully that will allow me to cut straight Yeah, it's cutting fairly straight. Uh, I want to be careful though to stay outside that line. I 
and I'm going to keep looking and watching that cut till I get it where I want it. That'll be close. I clean that up marginally with a hand plane. It won't need very much. First X brace. And now what I will do is I will mark from this end because it'll just be faster. And I'll cut a second X brace out of that and then go on to working on the rest of the top braces. I'll be back when I'm done. And here is the result. This is the, the plan that I'm going with. Upper transverse braces, brace, sound hole braces, X braces, finger braces here and here, and lower, I think they're called lower face braces, yeah. I have not decided whether I'm just going to go, I might just do something like that and do a single one of those or I might do two of them and splay this one a bit or I may keep with the plan. I haven't decided yet, I want to think about it uh, because the, the sound of the guitar is mostly going to be generated behind these X braces. So these braces are going to be fairly important. Some smaller guitars will only have the one. Uh, and uh, this is smaller than this plan. I, this is a 16 inch lower bout. This is your lower bout. And I changed it to a 15. So uh, we'll see. Still trying to decide. Thanks for watching. Later.